Alright, now as we are uh, working through our splines, we want to rebuild any that um, are not uh, aligned properly or going in the correct direction. So what we'll do is select them and we're looking for these two squares. One square when you open not the solids and that tells us where that spline actually begins. So uh, when we're rebuilding these we want to make sure that the parallel line to which we're also building to is uh, the same number of knots or spans uh, so that we get an even um, uh, mesh. So uh, this one appears to have four, this one appears to have um, a few more. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go up here to rebuild curve. We're using uniform uh, ends 16 is a bit much, so we'll go to uh, maybe 6 and cubic. We don't need to keep our original. Rebuild that. I'm getting an error. Nothing was selected to rebuild. Okay, so it's not recognizing. We just need to select that. If that happens to you, it's good that these things happen so that you can know how to get out of them yourself. Okay, now that that is rebuilt, we'll check it. And it has nice even spans. There are one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Let's try that again. Rebuild curve. What, six spans? And keep original rebuild. Okay. We'll do the same to this one so that they are the same. Okay, let's check it. Okay. Attribute editor. So we have six spans here. And we have six spans here. According to the attribute editor. Alright, so, and they are going in the same direction. So now let's check these. We have one, two, three, four, five spans starting from the top. We have four spans here, and that's really a bit uh, much. We do have a, um, a feature on this particular car. It's a pipe that comes out of the side. So we, we do want to build in enough resolution where we don't have a problem later on. You can add resolution uh, when this is converted to polys, but the more resolution that we add at this point, uh, the better. We don't want to go overboard because that can become a mess also, but it's, uh, it's sometimes difficult to judge when you're just starting out. Um, but the more you build with the NURBS surfaces, the more you'll get an idea of how much resolution you need to build in at this point. Uh, we're getting a fairly decent amount of resolution in here, but because of this artifact here, uh, this feature here in this car, we're going to build in just a little bit more resolution so that when we go back uh, to hit the door and um, some of the wheel wheel, um, we uh, have enough to deal with that without adding more in. Sometimes when you add some in with the polygon tools and then sub D that, it, uh, you end up with some flat areas. Uh, a little bit is okay, but we're going to try to judge this as best we can along the way. So uh, again, we're going to rebuild our curves. And I'm just going to put in, um, let's do four here. And again here. Okay, so let's check that. That's four spans, and this one is four spans. So um, this one is ready to go. If we select uh, in order, 
shift key down and we'll come up here to our nerve surface tool okay surfaces and because uh, we're doing a, a four we, we've selected four sides around here in order we'll do that again with shift key we're going to use the boundary and surfaces we use the boundary automatic area selected um, the uh, endpoints okay and nerb surface is what we want to complete boundary okay and there we have the um, first surface for our vehicle and this will uh, lay out pretty pretty well when we go back in here to uh, pull our, our pipe out and create that feature in there all right so uh, let's continue we have this rail and this rail that go the um, the distance of the vehicle from one end to the other and uh, this one is not quite the same so what we're going to do is uh, rebuild these curves make sure that they have enough uh, knots in them to rebuild well we're, we're going to say maybe 24 in here which is pretty high but since it's the duration of the vehicle or the tire length of the car yeah you can see that the knots are spaced evenly that's going to help to create a nice um, clean um, surface for our uh, polygon surface when we convert that so let's go ahead and rebuild each of these to match that. So now this one is 24, 24 spans on this one, 24 spans on this one. So again we're going to um, select those one right after another starting from the inside and working out. Hold the shift key down and add these and we're going to create a loft. Let's check our options here. Uniform, reverse, cubic. Uh, section per span, that's fine for now. Nerves, and let's go ahead and loft that surface. So, um, we have a little bit of artifacting here, but we have nothing that we can't deal with by moving our curve around. So you can see that this surface now is created, and we will continue working our way around this vehicle to get all of our surfaces uh, created and from that point we can um, convert our surfaces to polygons work with some of our polygon tools and um, develop that in a way that when we sub D our surface then we will have the best deformation so you can see how quickly you can uh, lay in a really nice beautiful um, organic feeling surface for your vehicle especially if you're doing a, a, a curved a beautiful curved surface on a race car you can get some really nice quality surfacing there to start with and um, and I'll show you how to maintain that as we go now one very important thing that you uh, need to know is um, when you are uh, uh, going through here to edit your curves, you want to make sure that you delete the history and so forth, because when you actually create your lofted surface, your curves, uh, you'll want to maintain your curves because, and the history on your curves, on your surfaces, because you can easily go in here then and, um, and manipulate the surface change that um, curve and you'll have uh, your surface deforming as as well. But you do need to maintain your history on that. So that's the advantage, one wonderful advantage of, of working with NURB surfaces for things like vehicles. Uh, I used to use NURB surfaces for creating all my characters um, because I had a, a really a big library and it's it's great to be able to 
uh, create the initial step of your characters in NURBS because it's independent of resolution and you're able to convert that to uh, low res or high res depending on the needs of your character but to store those in a library for personal use is very powerful in increasing your uh, production times for any job that you're doing that requires um, this type of work. Very easily come in here and manipulate surface and create something different entirely. Alright, so I'm going to pause here and continue to work on my curves and uh, I will come back when there is more to see. One other thing that I wanted to um, show you really quickly is um, we just did half the car, so that'll save us half the time. We're going to take all those curves from the top of the vehicle, and I'm just going to control G to group those, and I'm going to duplicate those, control D on that, and I'm just going to scale those over, and then grab each one of those and attach. to work fine. Alright, so we'll just continue to attach those curves for some reason. I have to check my settings. But go ahead and attach those all so that you have the surface um, throughout the top of the car there and um, we'll be able to loft those surfaces across the top of the vehicle also. When we get all of these done here, we will uh, take those and also uh, mirror those or duplicate and, and um, uh, set those over and uh, begin to create our, um, our polygon surfaces.